Hey guys, Tip from Head Games. Thanks for tuning in to our Toyota 2JZ series. Today, we are on the flow bench. We are gonna show you how to flow a Toyota 2JZ cylinder head. Our tech spent a lot of time on this machine and we put a lot of research and development into choosing our packages. This machine is the machine that gets us there. So sit back, relax, and hit that subscribe button. After getting valve jobbed, the cylinder head will get passed off to the flow bench. The tech sets up the flow bench with the bore adapter size that matches the cylinder bore. First, he sets up the exhaust side by installing checking springs, OEM retainers, valve locks, buckets, and the spark plug. He installs a custom adapter on the top of the buckets that will allow both valves to open up at the same time. Next, the tech will install the flow fixture. This fixture measures how the valves are open. He will place the head on the flow bench and secure it. First, he tests for leaks and then begins flowing at the industry standard of 28 inches of water. As the head is flowed, the tech writes down the flow numbers. Now that the exhaust is flowed, the tech will disassemble the exhaust side and repeat the process on the intake side. The difference on the intake side is that the tech will mimic an intake manifold by forming clay into an orifice around the intake port. This gives the air a smooth transition into the port. The tech turns on the flow bench and the intake gets flowed. Now that the head is flowed, the flow numbers get handed off to someone to input into a program that will create the final flow chart. Now let's break down the flow chart. People typically look at the peak numbers first. But in reality, it's the area under the curve that really makes a difference. It's important to focus on 100 to 350 lift. Picking out the right components for your build is very important. Most street cams will max out at 400 lift. Using an oversized valve won't begin to pick up until 350 lift. In that case, you will only give the head a small gap to gain airflow and will actually hurt the flow under 350. 